Meatball Guys. What up, guys? This is Meatball Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Gutwell. This game was published by Rattalaka Games and it was developed by Stuffed Wombat. Personally, I was able to complete this game in about 45 minutes. However, I want to point out that it's definitely skill dependent. Some people may complete this in 30 minutes. Some people may complete it in an hour. I think the average achievement hunter will complete this in about 45 minutes though. Now, the game doesn't have any checkpoints or save points, nothing like that. If you die, you start at the beginning of the game. That's why I pointed out that it's going to be skill dependent. Luckily, there's only three levels in the game, and they only take about one minute each. So, realistically, you can complete the full game in about three or four minutes. The thing is, is that this is actually quite difficult. We do have to complete the game to get all of the achievements and trophies, as we have achievements related to completing the first level, second level, and then finally the third level. But even if you were able to complete the game right away, let's say in the first five minutes, you would still have to play the game probably for like at least another 20 minutes or so because we have to unlock a frog hat. And the way that we do that is at the end of each level, you're going to see a frog and you can shoot bullets into his mouth and he's going to have a counter next to him. It starts off at 50. After we feed that frog 50 bullets, he's going to spit out a frog hat which is going to unlock an achievement. So ultimately, that's going to be one of the last achievements you unlock. So I just want to point out that now. For instance, right now I'm at the end of level one. After I clear out these enemies, the frog will drop down from the top of the level. Make sure that you aren't below him, otherwise he will uh, squish you. You also don't want to go too close to him or he will eat you. What you want to do is shoot the bullets into his mouth and that counter will go down. Fortunately, I didn't have any bullets that time, so I couldn't shoot them into his mouth. But after you complete that first level, you're going to unlock an achievement for doing so. After completing a level, you're going to get to a shop screen where you're going to have four different upgrade options and you can choose any option you want, but it's ultimately going to come down to how much or how many coins that you have and what you can afford. So I ended up unlocking my achievement for going shopping for the first time and then also once you get to the second level, you're going to be introduced to a skull enemy. You're going to unlock an achievement or trophy after defeating your first skull enemy. Alright, so next we're going to talk about combos. We have two achievements or trophies related to getting combos in this game. We have to get a 5 combo and then a 10 combo. The combo mechanic in this game is fairly unique. The way that you get a combo is you have to catch the bullet. So every time you shoot a bullet, it basically goes into the air, like what would be, I guess, the casing. And if you catch that bullet in the air, you'll be able to uh, shoot and continue your combo. And basically, every time you shoot an enemy, you want to catch that bullet. You want to rinse and repeat that process 10 times until you have a 10 combo. And right here, we have that frog again. After each level, you want to make sure that you drain all of your ammunition and that you shoot it into the frog's mouth. I just got my achievement for completing the second level. There's also an achievement or trophy for completing the third level. I'm going to show you guys my full run at the end of the video. First, I wanted to break down all of the achievements for you guys and give you more of an achievement breakdown just because I didn't get them all in one run, you know what I'm saying? A lot of them came over the course of 45 minutes. Now, I just unlocked an achievement for uh, choosing a free point increase, and basically, once you get to the shop, you just wanna choose the multiplier option, and that's gonna unlock that achievement. You also get an achievement after collecting 100 points. And that's about it for the miscellaneous achievements, at least the ones before or during the game. We're going to have a few after the game that I still need to cover. But after you complete the third level, you're going to unlock the achievement or trophy for doing so. And then you're going to get to a section that is only available after you complete the game. And basically, we have a secret ending that you can find if uh, you know exactly what to do. So what we need to do is go up into this flashing uh, room right here. It's going to be to the right. What we're going to do is we're going to find the secret ending in there because we still have three achievements. We have the one for the secret ending and we have the one for um, the frog hat as well as killing 50 frogs. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into that door. We're going to step on this button. I'm going to fast forward a little bit because this did take me a while. Um, but just go ahead and pay attention to where I put the blocks at the end. And hopefully this will make it easier for you. Because ultimately your guy can't jump too high. And so you have to have the 
uh, blocks fairly close and in a specific position to be able to get all the way up there. This could take a few minutes to get it just right, but just keep moving the blocks until you're able to get all the way up there and you should unlock the achievement for getting the secret ending. That's going to be the end achievement for seeing the true ending and that's worth 80 gamer score. It's going to happen right here. It should be popping any moment now. There we go. I believe you need to wait through the cutscene. I'm not too sure you can exit through it or exit out of it, sorry. But I'm going to go ahead and edit through it because we don't have time for that. Besides that, what we need to do is make sure we keep playing the game until we have shot enough bullets into the frog's mouth to unlock the frog hat. And then after that, once you put on the frog hat, it turns all of the enemies in the game into frogs, making it way easier to kill 50 frogs because without the frog hat, you don't actually see the frog enemies until the third level. So it would take getting to the third level multiple times for you to kill 50 frogs. I thought this was going to be a pretty hard achievement at first until I found out that the frog hat makes all of the enemies into frogs. So just make sure that you get that frog hat put on the frog hat, um, go down into the game and you're gonna see that all of the enemies are frogs. So just keep playing the game until you have killed 50 frogs. You do not need to kill 50 frogs in one run as the achievement is accumulative. As you can see, I got my full 1000G out of full 1000G, and as promised, I was going to include the footage of my full playthrough, at least getting from level 1 all the way to the end of the game, and that is only about a 3 minute run. As I mentioned before, it does not take too long to complete this game, but I wanted to go ahead and do more of an achievement breakdown before I showed you guys the main footage, just because... We have a lot of miscellaneous achievements here, and if I would have just showed you my three minute run, it wouldn't have had any of those achievements in them because I got a lot of these achievements over multiple runs. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the way that I laid this one out for you guys. As I mentioned before, this one is definitely skill dependent, so hopefully you guys don't have too much trouble with it. Let me know how long it took you to get the full 1000G down in the comments below. Overall, I actually ended up having fun with this game. On top of that, it was only $4.99. So, you already know most achievement hunters aren't going to complain about a fairly easy 1000G and a $5 game. Other than that, at this point, you guys have all of the information you need to get the full 1000 gamer score or platinum trophy. I'm going to go ahead and end the commentary here as no more commentary is needed. Feel free to stick around if you want to see my full playthrough from level 1 all the way to the end. But other than that, as always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 16 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, AOJ, Kegger101, Michael Banksa, and Purple Rain 6 As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe. Other than that, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 16 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, AOJ, Kegger101, Michael Banksa, and Purple Rain 6 As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.